Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy, the channel where we're breaking down players, we're talking baseball. Today, we're going to get into a little bit of a instructional part of uh, the channel here. We're going to look at a player, sophomore, uh, I'm sorry, junior at Case High School in Racine. Um, he's got some talent. Uh, just want to point out one thing that I do see at, from time to time from young players, um, just how to use the ground. I know I talk about it a lot, but we're going to go ahead and compare uh, the swing here to Trevor Story, who I think uses the ground better than anybody in the major leagues. And so let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to, it's a friend of mine, Dan Blind's son named Joe Blind. I used to work with Alex. Alex Blind was a heck of a baseball player. Heck of a great kid, um, but he finished up his career, I think, at Southeast Missouri State. But anyway, now his brother is an up-and-coming player, like I said, a sophomore or junior, 16 years old at Case High School in Racine, Wisconsin. So we're going to go ahead and go, uh, go ahead and share the screen. Let's take a look at Joe's swing up top here. Quick hands, compact, short, like it. I uh, just wanted to point that out real quick and just kind of show a swing full speed. And then we're going to take a look and, and see if there's one little adjustment that I think we can point out that every good big leaguer does. And what we're going to look at is that back foot. If you want to take a peek at that back foot, you know, Joe, I'll say this, Joe does a really good job of getting back to 50, 50, right? He's in a pretty good hitting position. I just think the next thing that he does is the thing we want to kind of highlight and so where he goes next is we want to make sure that weight, and you can already see where I'm going to go with this. Sorry about the, the, the lines here on the, the coaches I app showed up right where we're going to be kind of highlighting Trevor's story is that the inside part of that back foot, you can see both heels are on the ground for a long, long time, right? And that back inside part of that back foot is going to be driving into the ground even more from this position here. So uh, it is get the idea is get back to 50 50 and then we are going to go laterally. We are going laterally towards the ball laterally into the ground towards the baseball from here and it starts all from the ground from the inside part of that back foot. What you're going to see from Joe is that back foot comes up and around this way. So um, if we can get Joe to really kind of get into the ground, push into the ground a little bit more, I think we're going to get a lot more from this swing. But like I said, really good stuff that I do see from him. Just going to try and enhance that a little bit. So we're going to highlight that back foot on both these guys. Like I said, Joe's is going to go that way, whereas Trevor's is going to go the other way. So it's going to, it's going to go into the ground towards the pitcher again, laterally towards the pitcher. So it's going to go that way. And that back knee is a way to get there as well. So check that out. That is a thing of beauty. So like I said, let's just kind of look at that again. See how that inside part of that back foot going down, pressing down into the ground. And that actually lifts up the back foot. You see how that back foot scissors this way. It actually goes forward and a little bit behind them. Every good hitter, that move happens. That scissor move. And you're going to see from Joe here that that back foot is just spinning and it's kind of just along for the ride, right? Really good hands, really talented player. You can tell uh, he's got good enough hands to hit without really using the ground as, as well as he could and should. So that's what I would do. I'd have them kind of um, kind of push into the ground and, and kind of have them the idea, the mental idea that um, he's going to push, he's going to push into the ground with that back knee towards that front foot another way that we can get them there is we can go ahead and tell them to scissor and i do this a lot with kids and i actually have them do a drill where i'm going to go ahead and um, have them bring that back foot all the way up behind them up and behind them and that'll get them the feeling of what it needs to feel like to get all that pressure into that front heel so um Kind of a complicated one here, but it, it really, it, once players feel this move, they really just kind of something really clicks. Um, and then they are able to basically the idea is bringing all that weight, all that force towards the front, but then staying behind 
their front their front side it's they're hitting against the stiff front side and what that does is creates like a catapult effect of that barrel kind of coming up and through and it's effortless it ends up being being effortless so um that's it all right really appreciate everyone tuning in hopefully that uh, added some value tonight to your game or your son's game or daughter's game thanks